guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing this look I use the Desi and Katie collab that they did with dose of colors I mean to start off this packaging is absolutely amazing and then look at these shadows like these shadows are stunning so this is what I use to get the look that's on my eyes right now this is going to be an eye makeup tutorial so I will be focusing a lot on just the eyes a couple things I will be doing off camera and I also have a couple other products to share with you guys from dose of colors so we're going to be testing them out I'm going to be sharing with you guys how it's performing blending and how the other products are working for me as well so let's just go ahead and get started. So I already went ahead and primed my eyes with my Essence I Love Sage eyeshadow base and since I kind of want this look to be a little bit like dark and smoky I think I'm gonna try and smoke out my wing liner depending on like the look I decide to go for. I'm going to be needing tape so I'm just going to take some and put it on the back of my hand and this is what's going to kind of help me be a guide for when I am smoking out my liner I think that's something I really want to do today so I actually grabbed quite a large piece because I'm not sure how like long and smoky I want to make the liner look so I'm using quite a bit of tape and I put it on the back of my hand so that when I pull it off, it doesn't like hurt my eye or like irritate the skin right here. Because my skin is very, very sensitive. So how I like to line it up is I just follow the lower lash line and just kind of angle it slightly upwards and just make sure they're both relatively even and it's that easy to do and it really does make a difference especially when you are smoking out your liner so for today's look I'm super excited because I'm using the Desi and Katie dose of colors collab this palette is absolutely beautiful the first shade I'm going to be dipping into is the shade basic and I'm going to be applying this shade right into my crease. This is going to work as my transition shade. It's a really nice soft color. Pretty much matches my skin tone. I'm going to try and build it up and see how deep you can get this shade. It's really nice and it isn't powdery. I don't have any kick up with this shadow as of right now which is nice i know a lot of people hate when their shadows have a lot of kick up this is actually blending really nice and like i said i'm really loving this undertone and now i'm going to take some of the shade necessary and i'm going to be applying this below the transition shade so right into the crease and I'm using a fluffy brush that's a little bit more tapered so I get precision and where I'm applying this color because I don't want it to overpower the transition shade that we just applied. So that's why I'm using a brush that's a little bit more tapered. And I'm also going to start kind of smoking out this outer corner and blending those two shadows together. And this palette really does not have fallout. Like, I used this shade and this shade and there's no kick up and, or fallout which is amazing and they're just blending so easily like now I understand why everyone's so obsessed with Dose of Colors their shadows are amazing. And now I'm going to be dipping into the shade Churro and with this shade I'm going to be applying some to the outer portion of the eye kind of just packing it on there. And then slightly working it into the outer crease like so and I'm using a very like skinny brush it's like a fluffy brush but it isn't too wide so it can really get in there and give me some definition and I quickly did want to mention something I really do like about this palette that I noticed all the names on the back line up directly with the shadow that's right like behind it I guess you could say so this shadow the name right behind it is churro and this is the shade churro I hate when sometimes it's like all of these shadows and it's like flipped so you think you're reading this name but it's actually like this one I, don't, I really do not like that. I find that really annoying. So sometimes with some palettes, like, I just 
cannot stand that but with this one I do appreciate that they're all like order and I really do appreciate that so with a clean blending brush I'm just going to start blending the crease it got very smoky kind of like chocolatey I'm loving this color and I think I know what I want to use for my lid shade I'm super excited to see how these shadows perform on the lid because those shimmers like swatched look stunning like even in the palette like they look amazing so I can't wait to see how they're gonna look on the lid so now for the lid, as much as I want to use these two shadows, I feel like I should dip into this one just because I feel like it's a little bit more different and out of my comfort zone because I do tons of looks with like pinks and golds all year round. So I'll probably dip into those in a different video. But for today's video, I want to dip into the shade Dirty Money. All right, so we're going to do a brush test. I'm using a Morphe M124 to apply this onto my lid. My brush is not wet. It's completely dry. and it picks up this shadow beautifully. There is a slight bit of fallout, but like these shimmers are unlike anything I've ever used before. So I figured they would have fallout because I feel like they're almost like glitters, pressed glitters, or I, I honestly don't know how to describe them, but my brush is picking them up beautifully. This shadow looks so amazing. And I did want to use my NYX glitter primer, but I wanted to see how this shadow would perform on its own. And honestly, like it doesn't even need the NYX glitter primer. Like it's applying beautifully on its own. Wow, that just looks stunning. This is unlike anything I've ever used before. Like no palette has shades like this like this is amazing and like I said I didn't use a glitter primer my brush is dry I didn't even apply it with my finger let's see how it would look if I apply it with my finger press it on there Oof! it makes it even more glittery this looks absolutely beautiful it has like a gold shift in there but it has like a dark like army green base to it like this shadow is stunning like I'm obsessed with it I'm so happy I chose this shade and now I'm going to go back into the shade churro with a very small precise brush and I'm just going to lightly start blending that into my crease just so we don't lose that color. And then I'm going to be going in with a smaller fluffy brush, blend all that into the crease. I do feel like a glitter glue would be smart though because as I'm blending, like glitter is getting everywhere. So it's gonna be kind of difficult to get like a super precise crisp look. This is kind of just like glitter almost all over the lid which looks stunning. Like I love it but I'm just kind of letting you guys know that this isn't going to stay put when you're blending. Like it's going to move around especially without like a glitter primer. And so now that I'm done with the lids I know I mentioned that I wanted to do like a blown out smoky liner but that would mean I'd have to reach into a different palette because this one doesn't have a black and with how the look is looking I think I'm just going to apply some Kat Von D liquid liner because I don't want it to be like too overly smoky and like take away from the lids like the lids are just everything in this look so I think I'm quickly going to apply a wing with my Kat Von D liner So once I was done with my liner, I quickly did the rest of my makeup. So now I'm just going to go ahead and finish up the eyes with the palette. I'm going to be going in and I'm going to jump right into the shade Necessary. And I'm going to be applying that to the lower lash line. I'm going to be taking a Morphe B37. And I'm going to start buffing that on the lower lash line. From outer corner to inner corner of the eye. And now I'm going to mix the shade Churro and Chains. 
and I'm going to take it on a small definer brush and pack it on the outer portion of the lower lash line. That's where I want the look to be the most like dark and smoky. And then I'm going to go back into that Morphe brush and I'm going to be picking up the shade Necessary once again. And now we're just going to start blending that out. So the eyes are looking amazing. Now it's time to highlight the brow bone. I could go into this shade right here, just a kiss, but I think I actually want to go into the Fuego highlighter. I will be using this today on my cheekbones. I think that would just look really nice and like complement the cheekbone highlight. I personally like doing this a lot, even applying it on the inner corner, but I think I want to apply just a kiss on the inner corner. And ooh, that is such a beautiful highlighter. I really do love the undertone of this highlighter. This would even look beautiful all over the lid as a shadow. And to finish off the eyes, I do want to go into the shadow Just a Kiss. I want to apply a tiny bit, just a kiss of it, and use that as my inner corner highlight and kind of see how it looks. Do you guys see that? That is so beautiful. Wow, I'm really going to enjoy this shade all over my lid. These shadows, I have no idea how they formulated them, but it's literally a glitter in a shadow. Like, I feel like I like these more than the Stila Magnificent Metal, like, liquid shadows. Like, I feel like these are that just pressed. Like, absolutely amazing. I'm blown away with this look. I am going to apply a tiny bit of Fuego just on the inner corner just to make it that much more intense. It doesn't need it, but I, I just felt like it would only be right. It looks so, so beautiful. And now I get to highlight with the Fuego highlighter. I'm so excited to see how it looks on the skin. Wow, this highlighter is amazing. Swatching it does not, and I repeat, does not do it justice. If you really want to see how this highlighter is going to look, you have to apply it directly on your cheekbones. That looks amazing. Wow. I think I found my new favorite highlighter. Wow. This year's all, <laughs> this year's starting off to a good start an amazing first makeup tutorial for this year yes please i think i found a ton of products i love in this video just wow this collection was honestly amazing i was missing out by not trying it so now i'm quickly going to line my lips with the nyx nutmeg lip liner And now I'm using the liquid lipstick Desi and Katie created in the shade My Main. So this is the final look. I quickly went ahead and applied false lashes off camera. I used the Lily Lashes in the style Dallas and I honestly feel like those lashes were perfect for this look. This look I feel like is dramatic and kind of sultry and just honestly very kind of like evening appropriate and I felt like I really wanted something equally as dramatic in a lash and this is it. Like it's long and wispy and I think it's perfect for this look. I absolutely am obsessed with how this look turned out. I honestly think it was a great way of doing a first makeup tutorial for 2019 because everything I used I absolutely loved. I have no idea where I have been living that I hadn't gotten my hands on this palette sooner because this is truly truly amazing. I have I don't think ever used a shadow this beautiful this pigmented and just blendable and easy to work with like these shadows are on another level they are a little bit pricey but I think they're a hundred percent worth it these shimmers just look so unreal on your lid like you look at this and you think she packed on glitter she wet her brush like I don't even know how to begin to explain like how 
good these shadows work especially this shimmer shade like it is so beautiful and also like I used it with a brush like to me that's a huge deal and even though I did pack on a little bit with my finger that was after I had already packed it on with a brush and the brushes pick up this product beautifully the mattes blend so well they are very pigmented without being patchy they blend like a dream, honestly. Like, if you guys have any other palettes that you guys would recommend from Dose of Colors, definitely let me know down below because I need to get my hands on more products from this brand. I also want to mention the highlighter. It looks so beautiful on the skin. It makes your skin look wet and it applies like a dream. It looks absolutely beautiful on the cheekbones and this can also work as a shadow as well because of like how pretty it is. And as for the lip color, I think this is a beautiful color and an amazing formulation. I have never tried a liquid lip that was this comfortable. I need to do some more shopping on the Dose of Colors website. I'm truly blown away by this brand and I think this was a great first makeup tutorial for 2019. We're off to a great start. I'm blown away and I have some new favorites. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!